All right, hey, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the issues, comic book issues. For the lost package, bro. Um, this is what I got rocking. Signing for a convention. I think I'm gonna be running that lost package's name. I don't know. So far, I like it. I bought a co collection, guys. He actually dropped some bills. And came across some really good books in that fine. And uh, I'm a little overwhelmed in the fact that I have probably th three extra short boxes now. Um, I acquired also my, uh, my friend's collection, some of his books. Um, my friend Kenny passed away and then. His brother handed me down uh, some of the books that, um, you know, of his. Um, but with the big collection, I have one good box of gold. I got a second good box of gold. I'm still running through more of these. And I got one little side box here. I'm just kind of throw out here. Um, kind of put out here. Just go run through it with you guys. Um, talk about what's going on for 2023. In the uh, Friends with Issue world, um, we're all here. Meat Beard's here. Toe Cutter's here. Egg Beater. Egg Beater's always crying about his love life. Um, Meat Beard, you know, he likes to shave in the dark like a blind man. Um, <laughs> Weedle's probably, uh, Weedle's holding the camera, filming. Um, and uh, the, the cast and crew's here. So, bro, let's just out, dude. Nice, nice condition for being, for not being in the bag and backboard. In a little box, you know, there's holding up. So Black Panther 14, you know, that's good. And you saw, you know, if you looked at the channel, you notice I found some first generation uh, merch jewelers. And that was really totally a unexpected find, you know. Just, and again, this is like the last of the little boxes. Um, I'm actually just running out of room to keep this stuff, you know. <laughs> so, I think I got a kind of go order. Little Miss Marvels here. Um, doing really good uh, with this little collection here. Um, totally stoked on what I've gotten, you know. And what's here, you know. I'm not gonna be really buying any, any comic books until I get my ROI, you know, um, uh, my return of investment. <laughs> um, I'll let you know. I'm not an investment guy. I don't run numbers, run charts. Just buy what you want, buy what you get like, right? And sometimes you make a crazy uh, deal. With some dude in his garage, and he hands you boxes of uh, comics. Um. My goals of uh, 23 are now, you know, I've gotten my X-Men 100. I would probably have never bought that on its own. Uh, finding in that box was great. Star Wars number two, you know. I'm like everyone else. Love Star Wars. I got a Battlestar Galactica number one or two. That's my second one. I have a Whitman in the in the PC. And I'm going to be going through you know, all this, trying to choose what, what I'm going to keep. And when I'm trying to load off, um, I would like to get a booth at a, little, at a convention. I'm, I actually applied for uh, the mid, near mid Sundays, um, and I threw down the uh, lost package name as as my uh, store. So yeah, look, I had this on my list of things that I've been wanting to get. Uh, love those t love love those uh, I guess bondage covers, you know. Can't really say that to my wife. She thinks I'm a weirdo. But, in, but that's how it goes. Uh, and I just want to let you know, you know, when I when I say I'm overwhelmed, I'm not trying to be like a weird, like, hey, I'm overwhelmed. But, you know, I am. I got them stored. I'm still, since this purchase, I can't just go out and buy a bunch of bag and bag boards. I got to slowly buy them week by week until I get my checks. Um, but these are moving along for, for this collection, this PC. It's getting bigger, but I'm also, I'm going to have to be the, uh, like I said, get my ROI. And, 
most of you are in good conditions, you know. This needs probably a little press, you know. But if, I don't know pressing how to press books or anything stuff. I'm just stoked to have these. You know, I got, I bought this already. Uh, when I bought it, of course, I bought it in really good condition. But, you know, if I wanted a reader's, reader's copy, you know, I got one. Um, you know, throw that back in five. Uh, so, yeah, you know, great Doctor Strange books. You know, to me, these are just like $5 books. You know, I bag them, board them, $5 box, pick them up. This so one, that's pretty much was it in that little small box. So there was some little bit of gold, little Spider Man, Spider Woman stuff. And, uh, you know, I just want to check in, you know, that, you know, that I'm trying to, uh, make my PC really tight, make it what I want. I'm mainly just, you know, if I get my money back, I'm going to probably try to finish off my, most of my, uh, X Men run. I start at nine, my early, early X Men is nine. Um, but I bought, I bought that X Men number nine for like three bucks. Right, you know, three dollar book, uh, three bucks in eighty nine. You know, I that's that's a great great book to have for three bucks. <laughs> but what to do now is um, so it's been two weeks since I bought it because I've got two bo two hundred books back. Uh, now next week I'm gonna probably bag what you see here. And I got a whole bunch of independent books. Um, it's Valiant. I got the first Man of War, Exo Man of War. Um, it's really cool stuff. You know, there was a lot of good stuff in here. I mean, I never liked, uh, I love Akira, but I can never really get myself to get into it. So when I found this in the box, you know, that's, that's just a win-win. Win-win-win chicken dinner. But, you know, it's it's a beat-up. I want to say the A. A little discoloration of the spine scratches on the surface i'm probably not going to bag and bagboard these i am going to probably you know gives me an opportunity if i can trace some of these for the rest of the akira books you know or just make something happen um but with all these books i end up getting a box full of conans i got conan one Pretty much one through uh, 150, I don't know, around there. A little bit other Conan books. But since they're all Conan magazine size, I really don't know what to do with them. I think that's the place I'm, I'm going to be trying to sell as well. Um, I'm, I'm going to pill for number one, keep that with my, keep that with my turtles and, and heavy metals. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this is... This is going along pretty good. I'm excited. Um, I hope I um, you'll see Lost Package at near mid Sundays. I have no guarantees, but other than I applied and waiting for a response, I would like to find a place to another location before there. But uh, and I really don't think I can do IG sales or I try to sell on eBay. I just don't have the. I mean, I'm scared to buy. <laughs> I mean, I just don't have that uh, that moment, you know. Still running this. This is one of my favorite book right now. Um, you know, like again, like this is something I bought for five dollars. As much guys don't know, like I can't even get to my top five books and and sit down and chit chat and about like, my five raddest books, you know. <laughs> But we can always go, you know, my the Scholastic Star Wars. I mean, if you want to get classic, you know, I had this book probably since the first grade. You know, and let me bro this out to you. The lost scene. You know, you see Biggs in the remake of the movie at the end, but you don't see this scene. Even at all the remakes, remastered and touch-ups, whatever. You still have not gotten the scene in the theatrical version. So bad now. Well, I think that was my update. And I went skateboarding today. I cried through my board. But, you know, that's how it goes. 
And, uh, you know, like I said, this is one of my friend Kenny's books. You know, the other guy. And he has, like I said, a little some gold in here. You know, it's powder 220. And, yeah, I mean, I was able to uh, bag his stuff, so I was stoked. And, uh, you know, Spawn 4. That's probably one of my favorite Spawn covers right there. But later on, we know I'm putting away in the next couple days. Or I'm probably give another weekly update. Um, what's going on here? I did start a little podcast on Swell. I haven't even got to that because I've been busy around, busy body about these and doing other stuff. But I have been reading my Akira's. But I haven't really put anything away. And I know I got some of the stuff that I want to put away. Uh put in the PC and uh, if, if anybody sees something I guess you can reach out um, local drop off you know if you're in the LA OC area uh, I'll be stoked to drop it off meet you uh, halfway I like lazy dogs I like beer breweries we can meet a spot um, and uh, uh, do the uh, Transact transaction, you know, one of those spots. So yeah, let me know if you see something. I may be throwing down some, uh, some little more videos showing what I have, what I'm going to be getting ready to, uh, to sell. And uh, you know, thanks for hanging out, being part of the issues. Um, you know, like you said, you know, we all got issues. Yeah, just like comics, go bag them, put them away. Don't let anybody see him. Only you. <laughs> no. um, but yeah. Oh, this is another little great find. I mean. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I. I can just. You know, I always open my Punishers. This is actually the Punisher 1. Was my first, one of my first books in my collection. Not my favorites, I mean, but it's probably up there. You know. Um, just for just being one of my uh, first books I bought or received because that was a present book I got. But I also got the new Dog Man. If you haven't got the new Dog Man, it's out there. Um, oh look, yeah, I got books everywhere. All right, well that's it for tonight. Thanks, guys.